Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Please click the subscribe button and press the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will do some code refactor and redesign the welcome page with some random codes API. And if you have not watched the previous videos about the Spring and React series, then please watch it. Those videos are worth watching. As you can see here, like codes list is coming. So for that, we'll do some type of changes. So wait and watch till the end. Here, as you can see, this app.js file is a function component and there is another way also to declare the function component. So, declaration syntax doesn't look like a function, it will look like a constant declaration. Let's first modify here and instead of a simple bracket, let's replace it with the arrow function. At the end, add export related code. See, now it looks like much more clear way of declaration for a function component. Server started looks like no error. So this way also we can declare the function component. And here if you observe one more thing like our code is not formatting properly. So there is a plugin and that is pretty much famous. So let's install the prettier plugin which will help us to format the code. Here search for the prettier. Let's install this plugin. Plugin installed. Now let's format this file. Here select format document but first we need to configure. Let's choose the prettier. See now this app.js file looks like properly formatted. Open the welcome.js file. Here also you can see we are using function component. So here change the declaration syntax. But as you can see here we are using props also. So we'll keep props also as an arrow function parameter. Format the code as well and this is also done. As you can see, we are storing token in local storage and this is a kind of common file before and after the login. So let's move this code also as part of the separate file. Let's create a new file and file name let's say home.js. Here first add the simple boilerplate code. Now we are declaring the constant instead of a function. See, it's simple. Let's move this local storage related code. Okay, so we moved the code. Now I want like this home component should load very first time after the login. So for this home, we need to add our route also. Open app.js file. Here, let's add one more route. As we added a new home route, so we need to add some changes in the login.js file also. So open login.js file. Here, instead of slash, pass the home. Okay, so changes are done. Let's try now. Here, let's login. See now, it is redirecting to the home page. Now it looks like a blank page because this entire background is dark. But here you can see the text also. Instead of showing just home, let's add some changes. So after that, it will show like welcome and then login username will come. Let's copy the alert related code from the login. First, just print the welcome. Now, to get the username, we need to fetch from the Redux store. So, use map state to props and read the value from the auth. It will not work because we need to add some modification at Redux code also. But here, I am just writing the standard code like how are we getting data from the Redux store using the map state to props. Let's check now how the home is looking like. Let's log in first. See, showing alert, but only welcome is coming. Now, let's see how to get the username also. Here, instead of variant success, add the custom CSS so alert also will come as a dark. Now, add changes for the username. Open auth actions JS file. Here you can see we are simply returning the true on success. Let's return the JSON object and which is the combination of the username and is logged in. See, it's simple, but along with this file, need to modify the reducer file also. So here in the initial state, add the username also. 
add username and return json also see now it's perfect let's check username is coming or not see now username is also coming login with some other user id see for this user also it is showing username properly now let's modify the welcome page open app.js file so here from the welcome route delete all the extra code related to props and delete this constant also now let's open the welcome js file here let's see how to add api calls to fetch codes and now i'm adding all the code using the hooks so first declare constant for codes now add use effect hooks add a simple check now add axios for api call here is the url which gives us the random codes and the rest of the standard code set codes using the response data see only two lines of code is enough for the api call and at the end i am passing the array with codes value actually it is not required because we are not going to modify any of the code value so this use effect is having so much capability so what i mean is like if you are not passing any array then this use effect hook will execute every time like componented mount lifecycle method and if you are passing an empty array then it won't execute again and again whenever any state modification happen but if in case we want to execute this use effect every time when there is a state changes happen then those states we need to pass as part of the array so as i said earlier like we are not going to modify any code then no need to pass anything in the array but for this time just keep it we'll remove it later i hope you understood about use effect how that works now we have codes let's add ui related logic first remove the existing logic so we'll use a card instead of jumbo tone here i'm adding the standard logic See, when we are formatting then automatically it appended the bracket also now let's iterate codes using the map this is a typical code which even we used earlier also See, codes are coming properly. Let's add some CSS related changes. So, add some predefined classes. See now it is showing properly only scrolling is looks little different so this should also come dark so for the scroll there are some webkit related css we need to add so let's add required css and css related changes will add in the style css file and here is the css file <laughs> you can choose the ground color as per your choice see now scroll is showing properly let's add some more small small changes open the mytoast.js file here also replace function to constant see it's simple open navigation bar js file also as you can see this is a class component and if you observe this file we are not using any state or lifecycle methods so this file also we can convert to function component using the constant add const also for the logout because in function component we cannot directly call any function here no need to use render method because render is the lifecycle method and lifecycle method cannot use in the function component now this is a function component so remove this also from props Okay.
copy. So this is done. Open auth token JS file. Here also replace function with constant. So most of the changes are done. Open one more file, footer JS file. Convert this also. We converted most of the function components to constant. The syntax we modified. So this is the another way of declaring the function component. We will convert later other class component to function component by using hooks. I hope till the time whatever we did, it's clear for you. Open book.js file. So from here, delete this book change and submit book function call, which we are doing using bind. So instead of bind, we can use arrow functions because the arrow function make our code looks cleaner and more presentable. So now the question is like, what is the exact difference between the bind and the arrow function? In React, when we define classes, we use methods inside those classes. And to refer attributes such as state and props for our method to have access to this dot state and this dot props, we need to bind the React component in the context to those methods. Binding this to the class methods enables us to access props and state for the component with the help of this dot props and this dot state a benefit of using arrow functions is that this is kind of already bound to that function so we don't need to modify anywhere else i hope now you have a clarity about these two okay so that's it let's stop the server and start again let's verify the entire application flow register successfully login is working Let's add a new book. Book saved properly. Delete is also working fine. Okay, from add book, book list is not working. Let's fix this also. Actually here, it should be a function call. See now it is working as expected. Actually everything is working as expected. I committed the changes as well. I will show you from where you can find these changes. Here is the our GitHub page. If you want, you can follow me on GitHub also because whenever I commit, you will get the notification through the email and you can directly go through the code. You don't need to wait for my video. So better follow me on GitHub. See, here is the repository. And here are the changes. I hope you learned something from this video. Next video, we will replace Redux call. So what I mean, like we will replace map state to props to use selector and map dispatch to props to use dispatch hooks. So use selector and use dispatch hooks will help us to remove the boilerplate code. Till that time, keep on watching my other videos. Please subscribe, like, share and comment. Thanks for watching my videos.